Hey everyone, good evening, it's Nathan here. Um, I hope you're all doing well. This video is specifically um, in answer to a post I did in the secret community for midwives in the making group. If you're not in it and you're interested in midwifery, get in it, it's a great group. I've been in it since I was about 15, since I wanted to be a midwife, as you'll know if you've seen the other videos. So yeah, I did a post in the secret community um, group, basically opening the floor to you guys and asking, um, is there, what you know, what do you want to know? How can I answer your questions that you might be worried about asking about anything really, about midwifery, about being trans, about being a trans midwife, about being queer and midwifery, you know, um, whatever you fancied. And I got some great questions and I just want to take a minute to thank you for the questions. Um, thank you for being brave enough to ask and be honest about some of the things you've been thinking about. Um, it's important to talk. It, that's the important thing that we keep talking and we can't go far wrong if we're open with each other, I think. So... I've got, I've got a list of questions here. I've sort of tried to compile them and, and make them um, kind of fit together in some kind of order, but it's going to be a bit random. So, first one. How do you look after your mental health as a queer person? It's a cool question. Um, and I haven't prepared my answers at all, so I'm just going to coming from the top of my head. <sighs> Mental health is is so important, isn't it? It's it's just as important as our physical health, but it gets very neglected. We um, are trying to function and function, especially in high stress jobs like midwifery. Um, and there is a unique thing about being queer and and mental health. Um, it, we are a um, discriminated against group um, and that, that can be really tough um, when it feels like you're out of place um, people don't understand your experience and often it feels like you're um, having to advocate for yourself all the time or sort of stand up for yourself which can be exhausting um, I guess the way I manage my own mental health um, is I take a lot of time for myself um, thankfully supported by um, my partner and the people in my life um, so it's important for me to come away from my lovely children and have a break and for me that's lying in bed and watching telly <laughs> um, and just kind of forgetting about everything um, but I, yeah so for me it is um, resting taking time away to recover um and i guess also reflecting on stuff it's a big question <laughs> i guess my advice to other people is think about um what is it that helps you relax and let go and just trying to work that into your daily life um and also look at stresses that may be unnecessary and be okay with letting go of things and giving yourself a break. Um, you don't you don't owe the world answers. So, you know, that's the other thing. If people are asking you questions, um, some, t some days you'll be really up for answering them and some days you'll be ready to teach the world about being queer and being trans or whatever it is that you identify as and other days you just won't be and you just have to be able to say I think this way you need to re prepare in advance a few sentences um, one of my sentences is I don't feel like talking about it today um, and, and, and then that just we just move on so yeah, just just being able to to um, be okay with with not.
not answering some questions helps me 